Can you briefly introduce yourself? I am Isaac Liabuel. I'm now an under secretary in the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation uh, the, in the Republic of South Sudan. I work in Duba. I was in the IG uh, Delf, as it used to be called, uh, in September 1998 uh, up to October 1999. And uh, I had uh, been, uh, from that time, I managed to go to what used to be called SPLM areas. So Sudan was mm -hmm. in war. So I walked from the side of the south where the SPLM was uh, uh, waging a war of liberation for greater autonomy and now independent. So mm -hmm. I'm grateful that uh, since that time I have been doing some uh, small water activities, especially uh, in water management for agricultural production uh, and also in water harvesting, constructions, and uh, a few in uh, uh, water supply. Uh, because my background, I was in the class of land and water uh, development uh, in bracket irrigation and drainage. Uh, after, uh, during that time, I was taken through a program called Skill for Southern Sudan. And that Skill for Southern Sudan attached me to FAO for six months, Food and Agriculture Organization uh, of the United Nations. And uh, with the FAO, I worked for six months. Uh, attacked by uh, skills for Southern Sudan, and then the after that, I stayed for four months after the six months, and I got a short-term uh, employment with the FAO, and then I start uh, really embarking on a, a big picture on water issues. I utilize uh, my uh, the FAO library, and uh, do a little, little on a pilot basis based on. FAO program in the field by that time, it was not a big project, uh, pro, uh, activity, it was a small activity under humanitarian action, uh, which is under OLS, uh, Operation Lifeline Sudan. And I am very grateful after we got an autonomous government uh, under the, the then Sudan, uh, in 2005, the first ministry was established called Water Resources and Irrigation. And I became an, an, an under secretary in this ministry uh, in 2006, uh, February, uh, in, on an official basis. But since that time, I was uh, in a team of infrastructure secretariat, and I was responsible for water and sanitation sector. Uh, after uh, uh, I became an under secretary, I embarked on a good uh, perspective and uh, vision for water sector of South Sudan, and one of my main achievements was uh, production of a water policy in 2007, because we were having uh, uh, two governments, one country, uh, so we produced a national uh, water policy for South Sudan, and uh, in t before independence in uh, July 2011, uh, I led uh, the development of the water sanitation and hygiene strategic framework. And now uh, we are doing a lot in uh, uh, development of uh, preparation of uh, actual investment plans uh, in the water sector, which include rural action and investment plans, urban uh, work investment plan, and uh, also we are now embarking on uh, river basin master plan, uh, irrigation development master plan, uh, and a number of them. Uh, we have done a lot of work due to my uh, training here in IEG. I got a lot of focus, so I built uh, a good uh, workforce in the water sector because I knew who would do what. It was challenging because our people are coming from different backgrounds, from Arabic background, from Khartoum, from uh, Kiswahili background, from East Africa, uh, from uh, Amharic background. Uh, many of them were not uh, speaking uh, a bit the same language, but we decided to establish a one common ground and we work as uh, friends. I lowered my position, but I might not to behave as an under secretary, but to behave as a colleague in a class. And uh, we try to tap into uh, regional, uh, national, and international opportunities 
So we train a number of them uh, in uh, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Egypt. Uh, from the short term training up to the training to the master uh, level. So we have achieved that and we have exposed a number of them to international water and sanitation fora in the region of Africa and in uh, across the world. Uh, that one raised their profile and now uh, we have a decentralized system of government and uh, the people in the uh, states and counties were unable to do plans and even uh, also to take the agenda for the water sector forward. But after that exposure, many uh, conferences attended, uh, exposure visit, uh, study tours in which we have uh, nominated people from the lower uh, level of government, the, uh, the, 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 the state and the counties. Uh, that one raised the, really the profile of the water sector. And uh, also we embark on the institutionalization. We work out uh, an intermediate uh, or a transitional uh, water sector uh, organi uh, organizational structure. We include the ministry with the five directorates. Uh, the, the Directorate of Rural Water Supply and Sanitation, Directorate of Planning and Programs, Directorate of Irrigation and Drainage, Directorate of Water Resource Management, and Directorate of Hydrogen Survey. And then the support system uh, called General Administration and Finance. Uh, after we have uh, done this structure, uh, we have also established a parasitical uh, known as the Urban Water uh, Supply uh, uh, Corporation. And I think after we have said this, we will move to the state, and each state we have set up a directorate of water and sanitation with three departments, Department of Water Resources Management and Irrigation, Department of Urban Water Supply and Sanitation, uh, Department of Rural Water Supply and Sanitation. And we went to the, the local level, uh, county level, we set up a Department of Water and Sanitation. Uh, this one uh, is a structure, it is a bit empty, uh, all the posi technical positions are not filled. Sometimes we get challenged people can force themselves to hold position in which they cannot deliver their function. But slowly we are working with the development partners and now uh, after this symposium we just given me a very good insight about what knowledge and capacity development mean. We are going to design a, a project with Nupuk and uh, Niche finance projects through the government of the Netherlands at 2 uh, million euros to set up a first uh, training and research center. Uh, training, not very big training to a, a professional level, is a training to a pr practitioner level. It is not a research to a level of uh, big analysis, it is a research just to know which technology work in which, uh, in, in, in which uh, uh, situation, uh, environment. For instance, type of hand pumps in different ty uh, uh, types of geological formation. Uh, now we are there is a consortium from the Netherlands organization that they have won this uh, contract, which is UNESCO IG, Synop, and Altra. We are going to design this program uh, to help uh, escalating or uh, scaling up the production of uh, practitioners in the water and sanitation and hygiene work sector of South Sudan. So after that program, we shall look forward to collaborate with the all international organization, regional organization, and uh, national organization working in uh, knowledge, and we also uh, financiers, uh, and uh, working in the development uh, uh, prospects. So, including uh, the banks, uh, multilateral, and uh, including the UN system, including uh, the traditional donor uh, community. Uh, this, after setting up of that, it will be a good thing. Uh, our government, uh, our, our ministry has now drafted uh, a water act. If it is an act, it will prop, uh, further reorganize the, the sector, including the training centers including regulatory bodies for the delivery of water and sanitation services, including regulate, uh, regulate, regulate authorities for the management of water resources. Uh, we are working toward that. There will be a proper regulatory and legal framework, and uh, that, will, uh, 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 that will consolidate our institutional uh, setup. 
that is a, a great opportunity. Uh, I would have not imagined myself, and I would have not imagined the water sector in South Sudan without the little uh, skills and knowledge that I gained from the IE uh, in 98 to uh, 99, 12 month master program. And I am looking forward to collaborate with the UNESCO IE now uh, for more capacity building in South Sudan. And I did my uh, hope that I will become a good leader uh, in furthering uh, such a vision forward. Thank you.